The cockatrice is dead. Now, where was the exit? I don't think I can go back the way I came. Come, I lead you to the exit. Take the cockatrice's head. Vincent pays well for trophies. Very well, though it reeks. Make haste. I've killed the drowners. You showed us mercy, yet I deceived you. I can offer no money, but you cannot leave unrewarded. Take this amulet. It's Kezath, the symbol of mercy. Will do. Wonderful. Now we prepare for the coming of the lords. Who are these lords? job. Help me fulfill my life's work. A tower stands in the forest swamp near Old Vizima. A princess up top, dragon below? Thanks, but I'll pass. Silence, please. Legend says a mage and alchemist built the tower. No princesses or dragons. So what's my job? The mage died ages ago, and the tower was forgotten. The power within it attracted and deformed nearby creatures. In short, it breeds monsters? Precisely. I want to examine that source, Witcher, and write a dissertation certain to immortalize my name. I'll have access to secrets that have been hidden away in that tower for years. Unfortunately, the tower is locked. I'll pay 1,000 orans to whoever helps me get inside. I'll see what I can do, though I'm sure this won't be easy. Were it easy, I'd not need you. Breaking into a powerful mage's lab is complicated. We must gather detailed information on the tower. Where do I find it? In the tales and legends recounted by elders and swamp folk. In old books, too. Recorded wisdom is infinitely more reliable. Any specific titles in mind? Ransant Alvaro's The Secret Gates, and an alchemy treatise, Ain Sof Hour. I know a certain dwarf had a copy of The Secret Gates. The second book, written by an anonymous gnome, was lost long ago, and could be hard to find. While you search for these, you can test my newest invention, a crystal that links places of power and my workshop. It will allow you to teleport, disintegrating your being into billions of pieces that travel beyond the time-space curve. And then it'll reassemble my being in your lab? Sure about this? There is some chance of error, but it's minuscule. <laughs> Can I talk to Vivaldi? No chance. Anyone arrested for dealing with Skyatel is a political prisoner. He's just an old dwarf. Why are you standing up for him? I need to talk to him. Pay the 200 bail, and I'll let him out. You can do whatever you want, then. Here's your coin. What brings you here? Do you have a copy of the Secret Gates? I do, 
And what remains of my collection? It's yours if you want it. How much? You pulled me from prison. Take it as a gift. Goodbye. Hmm. Sorry, I got lost in thought. About the tower. Yes? I have new information on the tower. Tell me quickly. Before this tower, the mage erected two others, but both collapsed. This one served as his house and lab. I knew that. Anything more? The mage lived there until he disappeared, most likely dead. He constructed clay golems that served him, but hardly seemed a major achievement. That would agree with the legends of the sentry. There are ten cornerstones involving the elements and threads of fate from which all this was born. Sephiroth! So the old scrolls are true! One book contained hints of the stone's whereabouts. We must find all ten Sephiroth. I own one of them, Chokma, the Stone of Wisdom. I suppose I'm to find the others? Yes. Near the tower, you'll find a circle of stone obelisks. When you have all ten Sephiroth, place them on the obelisks. Ah, so close. What a breakthrough. I'll abolish the theory of those stuffy professors in Oxenfort. I'll destroy them, smash them. Kalkstein, don't get worked up until I find the stones, which won't be easy. The information in these books is murky at best. Sorry, could you show me these books? I'll make notes for you. Here. There you are. I seek the Sephiroth stones. I haven't yet located them all. I thought you might know such art and oddities. I once purchased one for its magical potential, which turned out false. And I paid a mage a costly sum for the examination. Then would you sell it to me? Sell my Tiparath? <laughs> I'm rather fond of it. I'll give you a good price. Five hundred orns? I didn't think it was worth so much. But all right. I wear Tiparath as an amulet. We can deal right now. I have five hundred orns, though it's quite a price to pay for a stone. I sadly relinquish it. But my reputation would suffer, as would my business, if I did not deal. The Sephira is yours. Yes? Good news. You'll be happy, Raymond. You killed Ramsmead? He won't be bothering us anymore. But that's not it. We'll nab Javed soon. I have a plan. Your family will be avenged. So, what's your plan? I wanted to take care of this alone, but if you're willing to help... Of course I am. You're paying me, after all. Besides, we're friends now. Yes. Friends. Now, since we've defanged Javed by getting rid of Ramsmeat, let's plan what he and Kolkstein want so much. And that is? The secrets inside the Swamp Tower. I know how to open it, and I'd like you to do something. Of course. What? Come with me to the Swamp. And when I open the tower, take the secret books, hide them away from me. We can't let them fall into Javed's hands. Right. When do we go? Now. We need to secure what's hidden in the tower. All the books and scrolls. Bait for our target. Just one thing missing. I have yet to unlock the tower door. That's where I come in. This stone is the key to the tower, or part of the key. You make sure you get Kalkstein interested, like we agreed. <laughs> 